know thyself. And I am going to be talking about one of my favorite capes, um, which was Final Fantasy VII. I'm not going to talk about Final Fantasy I, though I could incorporate that into this, because that probably is one of my favorites too, but not as favorite as Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Um, so when I started playing, we all know that I'm old and I've played games for a while, but I haven't played them like in consistency, like most people. Like I didn't get to go from Atari to Sega to Nintendo in a line. I, I kind of had these big bouts because I had problems being a person, as <laughs> the only way to say it, I guess, uh, due to mental health issues and due to the inability to understand the world very well. And I was really smart in some aspects, but not too smart in other aspects. So I went through life struggling constantly. Um, made me sad today, have a little bit of a sad bout because my life always feels like this. And I know that's normal. Everybody's life tends to feel like this. But I would really like those parts that were like, Wee. and funny enough, the only time I seem to get these parts is when I'm, now that I'm disabled, but then my mental health is doing this because my pain level is like going weep -a, weep -a, weep -a, weep -a, weep. -a. So when my pain level is high, my mental health is low. When my pain level is low, my mental health is high. So we go whoop -a whoop -a whoop -a whoop. -a. <laughs> so that's that's really hard. So um, in know thyself, we talk about um, if you ha if you're new here, I talk about how these pulp culture things or um, art stuff or entertainment affected me in my life. Not so much how they affected the world. Okay. So uh, Final Fantasy VII has always taken this big for everybody. But for me, it had a whole different thing. And what it was is I had moved from uh, Sacramento, California. I was kind of raised in that area to Redding, California in 1997. And I went from having a pretty good job that kind of ended up going like this. Not because of me or anybody else. It was just that it wasn't the right time. And it wasn't the right foundation. It wasn't the right thing going on. And people weren't really interested in this thing I was in. So um, I can't, it was a Falling Star Foundation for Pediatric AIDS. And I did... Um, I ran a thrift store, and I did a lot of little stuff like that. And it went into bankruptcy um, after two years. And so I became jobless, but the people who ran it were such sweet people that they helped me be able to move because that's what I had decided to do. I was going to move. And so um, after finding out that the guy that I was renting a house from that I was planning on buying was actually not the owner of the house, nor did he have any ability to, to be selling it, so I kind of was like, Psst, and it was time to go. So I packed up my daughter and me, and we came, went to Redding, California. Now, the thing about Redding, California is that even though it's kind of a big town in Northern California, it has um, the concept of like a small town. So there isn't a lot of work. There isn't a lot of stuff that you can do. Once you're in, you're in, and that's it. And, you, you know, government's probably the best way to go. Uh, or private, own your own private company. But uh, So I got a job 30 miles away from where I was at. And I worked there. I liked that job too. It was a good job. Um, but then it got to the slow months. And so um, we negotiated and they laid me off. Well, I was thinking about going back to school in 1999. So in 1997, I moved to Reading. I worked for this company up there for, you know, around there for about a year. And then in the turnover, the new year of 1999, I thought, I, maybe I should go back to school because I'm not really getting any bites with what I had known, which was desktop publishing because it's kind of a misnomer <laughs> at that time even. Uh, I had been working in copy shops, uh, building newsletters, things like that, and so that was that kind of thing. Anyway, so what happened was I went... I, I, I got laid off. I got unemployment because I got laid off. And then I was going to go back to school. So I had this period of time that kind of took a break. Um, being on unemployment and I'll admit it, 
on, on um, social services while I um, got ready for school. And uh, so I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I mean, I went places. We did things. Spent time with my kids. Uh, with my kid. I had one and all of her kids. All, not her kids. All of her friends. <laughs> I can't talk today. And um, I was in the store. I want to say Target. I did a lot of Target shopping at that time. And I was in the store and I seen a PS1. And I was like, what's that? Now, it's not like I was clueless. It's just that I went through life for a period of time for about, I don't know, where I was only playing arcade games. Like, you go to arcade and play. I didn't really have any of the um, consoles. And to, I had, early on, I had the Nintendo NES. I got that. And then I got the um, Sega. But I didn't know nothing about PlayStation. So, I bought me a PlayStation 1, and it came with Final Fantasy 7. And I was kind of excited, because I liked Final Fantasy 1, and I had played, off and on, on different Nintendos, I had played um, another Final Fantasy. I want to say Final Fantasy 3, but I'm not positive. Anyway, so, I think that's the other American one. And I thought they were all kind of fun. You know, you had these little guys. And you kind of like they don't like you like it was such a cool game Final Fantasy one because you like you you would cruise around de -de 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 on this map and for those of you who've never played it the others of you are going we know this but it's that you like you cruise around on this map you click it would go make that noise when you met creatures I can't think of it right off the top of my head but it would make that blah, 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 blah sound and you would then have show your three people on the side here and you know. In little boxes and you'd pick what you wanted to do and that was kind of fun and so I thought oh Final Fantasy 7 sounds like really cool now the jump between what Final Fantasy 1 was and Final Fantasy 7 was a big deal in time of um, development but for me it was a really big time frame I think like probably about four years from when I played Final Fantasy 1 to when I played Final Fantasy VII. So I sat down, I remember it, and I plugged it in, and I sat down, and I started the game, and I was like, oh, this is so cute, you know, and all the sounds, and all this stuff, and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And so I spent six months playing that game. <laughs> Until I went back to school. I think it was less than six months. I think I got fired, like, in January, February. So... Let's see, May, June. I probably used my tax return. So it was probably uh, uh, March, April, May, June, July. So five months. <laughs> I didn't play it every day, though, okay? So it wasn't like I was locked in my house playing every day. But it had such a profound effect on me in that I then would take go out, you know, once a week or so. It was a tough five months. <laughs> And I would go scourging through um, used stores for PlayStation games. And we had quite a few um, really nice electronic used stores in Reading. Uh, Bogbing is one that comes to mind, though I don't think I used Bogbing for a while till I got higher up in my consoles. But I remember that it was so much fun that uh, I had so much fun with it that a guy that I was hanging out with, I bought his son for his birthday a PlayStation. <laughs> so, that, so that we could share games, because his dad was going to buy the games, and so he bought the, he was kind of tough on his luck. So it's kind of a funny thing. I didn't buy that till I got a job. Okay, so, so that you don't think of a complete, <laughs> a complete, like, I don't know, lazy slob or something. Uh, so in, in August, I picked up two part-time jobs of, in that time frame, 1999. I worked for Target uh, at the night stocks. I don't think I picked it up in August. I think I picked it up in October because that's when they usually hire for Christmas help. So I picked up a graveyard shift where I made, uh, I stocked the shelves. I restocked shelves. Um, and I worked every day. I didn't work. I didn't have a break. I worked pretty much every day. Though they give me a break every once in a while. Uh, because it was really hard on my knees. I had a really hard time with my knees. Um, 
I don't know if it was the floors or the fibromyalgia or the stress. And then for a month I worked for the um, the college out there with a temporary job uh, to pay for books and whatnot, things like that. So my whole life has been a series of um, part-time jobs. <laughs> I have very rarely had a full-time job. I mean, I've had some, like like the one I had before I moved to Reading was a full-time job, but it didn't ever work out to be an actual I mean, it was a full-time job, but it would go more on some days. I'd have more hours, and then other days I'd have zip hours uh, because they did delivery driving for them as well, and I'd pick up donations and um, stuff like that, and then I'd go through other things. So what does Final Fantasy kind of mean about me? It really showed me my addictive side. <laughs> I have a very huge addictive side. Um, and it, it's come out, yeah, I mean, people, I'm sure you can see I played Conan Exiles for a whole week and didn't really do much on my channel and didn't really do much nothing else except play that game. I get very wrapped up in my games. And uh, Final Fantasy VII was the first game that was like that. Because prior to that, the games that I played were like uh, Super Mario Brothers, Sonic. They weren't really like you had to play them like constantly to the end. It was... Like going to the arcade, you put a couple quarters in, you played for a little while while you eat pizza, hung out, talked to people. But it wasn't this intense need to find out what was around the next corner. And then, um, but Final Fantasy VII had that. Now Final Fantasy to a degree, number one kind of had that. But Final Fantasy VII, I became very invested in the characters. I really wanted to know what was going to happen, excuse me comes my skin again. Really wanted to know what was going to happen to them. You know, like, what was going to happen with, I can't remember all their names. I can see the letters of their names, but the girl that was like the um, seer, she said it was A-I-E-O-F, Athia, I don't remember how to pronounce her name. And then Tifa, Tifa was the, the boxer, you know, and then the love correspondent between Cloud and her. And I don't know, I guess there was something in my life that was missing because I got very involved in these characters. When if you compare Final Fantasy VII to Final Fantasy, say, X, and, or what, what would have been the first one? Eight? Final Fantasy VIII. Well, you had, the people were different. They were, they were much more like people rather than these short little guys that were little cartoon characters. But there seemed to be this investment emotionally into Final Fantasy VII. I played that game probably three times in a row. I did, It didn't take me five months to beat the game. I just played it to the end and then I played it again. And then I played it one more time <laughs> until school started. And then I didn't play it for a while. I put it aside and played other games. And then um, I think somewhere around there the PS2 came out and I bought me a PS2. And then I played other games on the PS2, you know, and then I never got a PS3, like I said, but I played PS2, I think the last Final Fantasy I played on PS2 was 11, or 12, whichever one's not online, because I didn't play, I never played online, because I didn't have internet, I didn't, um, all my internet experience <laughs> for my life, uh, here's a funny thing, okay, you're gonna laugh, um, until I moved here, this is the first year, uh, was the first time I bought internet. Prior to that, I had internet. I went to schools and had internet. I um, had internet on my phone, I think, for the last little bit of it. But I didn't have internet at home. I didn't really have a computer for a long time at home either. Um, I got I got through, sorry. I got an itch going on, and now my hair is doing its thing. Um, I can't get to the itch. Yeah! Okay. Um, prior to... Uh, you know, electronically wise, um, I didn't really have the ability. I'm, I've never been, okay, I was born into a really well-off family, okay, but due to choices that I've made and choices that I didn't know about, so I ended up making wrong choices, and then uh, struggling constantly to find my place in the world, I just had other things going on besides the speed of electronics, which is interesting because in 1991, I went back to school, 
to do desktop publishing for computers. But again, everything I did was at school. I didn't do homework at home. I did it at school because it was free internet. Um, so I, what does Final Fantasy mean to me? I think that it was my, my gateway drug. <laughs> it was my gateway drug into gaming. But I've gone through big bouts where I didn't game. Just because I was too busy or I had things going on or, um, I was writing like all these back here. See, all that back there are stories. Each one of those notepads is a story that probably has about 100 pages in it. I was doing that prior to, um, I spent five years writing while I was in school because I was also writing research papers and other things like that. So Final Fantasy has always been kind of that fond memory of getting into gaming. Now the problem with it though is that I was I was really an outdoorsy kind of person. I like to go out hiking, I like to go fishing, I like to go camping, but I couldn't afford it. Ooh. Dog. <laughs> Dog. Hey, y'all get out of there. Oh, moving camera. Ooh. Everything's okay. It's not moving no more. Um I really like to go out. I I that was my thing, but I couldn't afford the gas when I was when I was home. And I had a big bout of depression that went from being laid off to trying to figure out where I wanted to go. Because it went from, you know, always in my life, it's always been plentiful to desolated. Is that the word? Despair. No, desolated. No, des no that's not the word. Plentiful to depleted. Um, because I would, I would have a job, it would run, I'd do the things I wanted to do, I'd go to the places I wanted to go, I'd have a good time, and then I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> and I'd become sometimes homeless, or I would be searching for another job, or I would make a decision to move, or something. And then, or I was, you know, hanging out with uh, a guy, or a mate, a boyfriend, whatever. And then things didn't quite go the way one plans, you know, when you're in love. I love you forever. Um, so I was always, like, bouncing around with things that I enjoyed doing. Um, but Final Fantasy VII still holds that place in my heart. And I'm, um, I'm hoping to get it on some of the, one of the consoles and play it for my channel. I really would like if... I don't know if I can do this, but what we really like to do is get Final Fantasy 1 and play every single game that's available all the way up to 15. Um, but I don't know that that's going to be something I can do right now. So it probably might be a project that's shelved. Because um, I have like Final Fantasy 13.5. I think I have Final Fantasy 13 too. But I'd like to play, i seen like Zany Jane, Zany, Zany Jane. Uh, she's been playing, Ivy Mike played also uh, Final Fantasy Run. And I'd like to do that again because I really enjoy the games. But, um, but yeah, so I played Final Fantasy 7. And then of course Final Fantasy 8 came out. Totally different type of thing. But I loved it. I think that the part I liked about Final Fantasy VIII was the music and um, the world. They changed the world up and and the difference that it was more realistic. You know, um, the people were more and oh, and the animations that went with the the uh, summoning was really awesome. And then Final Fantasy IX, which holds a great a great thing in our heart, in the household's heart, because that was the first Final Fantasy my daughter played. And, you know, the little black wizard is everybody's favorite. And um, really enjoyed that story. Uh, love to play it again. And then Final Fantasy X, which again, my daughter's teenager, so really into that. And then ten a ten two ten whatever you want to call it. The, the part where it's just the girls running around. Um, like that one, too. And then... Um, 
Final Fantasy. I think it's 11 is online and 12 wasn't. I liked one of them. 12, I think it is. I really like 12. I really want to play it again. The thing is, is some of these games I played more times than others. So, all right, my time's up. I'd love to talk more about Final Fantasy, and maybe I will on the next one. Maybe I'll talk more about each of them as I think about them. Um, anyway, this is it for this vlog, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace. I'm out of here. Oh, I can't move my right arm. <laughs> I can't. I have to.